You can see the time and score. The Spartans up by nine here in the first half. Watch this Val Barnes pass down inside. Gives it up, draws the defense, makes a nice little pass to the left side, and right there's Kenyon Murray to lay it off. That's the way you run the break. They found themselves down by as many as 11, though, to Michigan State, trailing by nine with 11.56 left the first half. Field goal shooting, Iowa still cold, trying to warm up from that 22% of earlier, and Michigan State's been hot enough the whole game. Resper thought about a three. And instead, it's Damon Bethea off the bench with his second basket. Good presence of mind by Resper to give that one up to the baseline. A better shot there. Bethea's three points over his per-game average already. Great presence of mind to bounce that ball off Jay Webb. And that was Resper that did it. Resper's done a little bit of everything tonight. Points in the paint. We've got Michigan, Michigan State with eight, Iowa with only two so far. I don't think we've seen the true Iowa press yet. And they haven't come out and really put the pressure on this Michigan State team yet. This is a club that has struggled with their ball handling all year. They've not found a consistent point guard, even though Snow had a good game against Wisconsin the other night. We said when you lose a guy like Montgomery, who was a four-year letterman and one of the top assist guys all time in the Big Ten, tough to replace. Mathea finally missed, and Iowa brings it back. Jay Webb. All Michigan State underneath there. Michigan State playing a little bit more transition now than they're used to. They push it up the floor. Blasky finally back in there. And Millard matched up, trying to stay with him. And without Earl in there, you're going to have a mismatch down low no matter who tries to play on Mike. Steal by Iowa. They've got a five on one. Can't mess these up. Murray. Right, I think the most active player on the floor tonight is Val Barnes. He made a terrific steal there. They got it back again. Murray again. Murray with four points in about four seconds. That'll help your average. Sure will. Cuts the lead to seven at the halfway point of the first half. Boy, up and down the floor. Really didn't expect this tonight. And we'll have a foul. Judd unhappy Tom Davis. He's the guy that's down by seven, and he's the one applauding his play. They've inched back into it. Earl checking back in. Likewise, James Winters into the Iowa lineup. You know, Brad, when this league started this year, I really thought these two clubs will really challenge Michigan and Indiana for the Big Ten Championship. And right now, I think they've got about five or six clubs that will try really go after both of those two clubs at the top. Wouldn't count either one of these clubs out yet. They're both pretty talented. Indiana got a scare at home last night from the Golden Gophers in Minnesota. Brad Nessler and Larry Conley, Breslin Student Events Center in East Lansing, Michigan. Michigan State has led by as many as 11. They're up 7, 21-14, but Iowa working their way back into it at the 9.40 mark, first half. Earl outside. Whoa, tears a pass, pass. I guess. Winners fights up. Earl got it back and scored it. They'll have a chance for a three-point play. AC will tell you that was a pass. I think it was a shot. I'm not, I'm not going to argue. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with AC because he's bigger. Take a look at it again. He threw it completely over the rim. I'll tell you what, if it was a shot, it was a very bad miss. If it was a pass, it was a great one. <laughs> Watch Earl go back inside. You see the foul committed right there. Iowa's got two baskets off of their press. They come right back and go inside, and AC Earl with a follow-up on a miss. Now they've gotten seven in a row. Earl has seven to go with three rebounds, and the lead's been cut down to four. Miller having a little trouble getting it inbound. I would really push the pressure on as long as the ball is out of bounds. Once it comes inbounds, they kind of back off and kind of float back into a half-quarter, three-quarter court trap. That one rattled out on Wyshynski. Iowa can cut it to a bucket. Barnes pulls up three. And Miller the rebound. Snow quickly down court. Boy, he can motor with the ball. Wyshynski with a nice catch. 
Resford a good one-on-one -on -one player. You see a lot of that from him tonight. He's really good taking a guy one-on-one. -on -one. Tried the backdoor cut, not there. Miller. Great cut. His first basket. Good half-court offense. Whoa, hurrying that one and burying it off the glass. Kevin Smith. Did he call glass? Uh-uh, I don't think so. Cuts the lead to three with a three-pointer. Iowa's first of the night. Now, all of a sudden, the game seems to turn in favor of Iowa. The transition game, really their type of game, the one they like to play. They're averaging 83 points a game. Michigan State, 74. Wyshynski just inside the three-point line. Prior to that basket, Iowa was on a 12-4 run. I don't think he can do it again off the glass out there. He thought about it. That's why he didn't take it. <laughs> A.C. Earl tried a long jumper. Well, what a weapon, huh? 6'11", go out from 15 to 18 feet. 25 22. They've got numbers. Zula. Looking Bill, the rebound. Nice pass in low to Winters in the paint. Foul and scored. Yeah. On the basket. Boy, Iowa has come back with a vengeance. And they've done it in a couple of different ways. They've done it with their press, and they've done it with good inside play, and they've done it with three-point shooting off the glass. Again, take a look right here. Kevin Smith, the dish inside, right there. Skywalker winners, spins, goes inside against Zulov and kisses it off the glass. Oh, Iowa with a strong comeback. Watch it down inside. Now, watch the catch. The little spin move. He's got him hooked right there, draws the foul. That's what I like about guys. You go inside, you get bumped, you get... You get entangled in there, forget it. I'm still going to get the basket. Can't complete the three-point play, though. The free throw rolled out on him. Broken up by Bartles, and he somehow weaved his way through the cheerleaders and the band and didn't kill anybody down there on the baseline. 7.34 to go in the half at the one-point game.